Hey guys, so in this tutorial, I will show you how to complete the attack lab part one, that is attacking C target with buffer overflow. So I assume you already have these files. I already unzipped my targets. And um, what we are trying to do in this part is, we are trying to redirect our program to call a function touch one, and eventually validate our score by executing these lines 9 through 11. But the thing is, when you call touch1, um, it would go like sequentially and it will try to try this if block before coming to this validate block, validate function. Uh, so and this if if the, this if uh, if statement always returns true. So it would always go into this if and fail because of line 6. What we are trying to do is go around this by redirecting our program to line 9 instead of line 1. That would execute these lines in, in, in these lines and we would get the score. So um, in order to redirect our program to these, this line, we would have to find the assembly address that this line corresponds to. When we have that address, when we have that address, let's call that address x. We will find it in shortly. Uh, okay. Uh, so when we find x, uh, we should. We sh we we will we will make our program return to x. How we will do that? How we will do that is by exploiting something called buffer uh, buffer buffer overflow. So uh, this program calls a function called get buff and it gets an input string from you and when you write a string it would write the string in the buffer from the lower end to the upper end if you write a string that's big enough it would go all the way up to the return address and overwrite this address and what we will do is we will overwrite this address with x which is the, the address we want to return to so uh, yeah, so we will write x here. So when the, when this function returns, uh, it will return to x. So let's get to business. We will first find uh, x, which corresponds to v level equals one. In order to do that, we will dump our so we will dump our c targets to a, to a file. Um, So yeah, that dumps it into a file called ctarget.d. I already have it open here. So um, this file contains all the assembly code necessary for par part one through three. So, uh, but you wouldn't have to inspect through all of this. Just search for touch one and you would find this. And what we are looking for is um, a move operation and a function call and if you look carefully you can find it pretty easily so yeah it is here this is the validate call and this is the move operation that's v level equals one so yeah we want to return to this address we will overwrite the return address with this so that the program executes lines 9 through 11. Uh, so yeah we need this 40 15 7 a but um, in order to um, feed this string, this this value to our, um, t t I mean, what I, what I mean by value is this this string. So we will give a string that's big enough to overwrite all of this buffer and also the return address. And the buffer size, this buffer size is unique for everyone. That's what makes this lab different for everyone. And you can find your buffer size in this function get buff so it gets an input string from you and the buffer size is 152 bytes in my case in your case it, sh it could be different it could be anything uh, but mine um, be careful this might be in hexadecimal format if it is in hexadecimal format you would have to convert it to integer first sometimes object dump gives integer 
results, sometimes it gives hexadecimal results, so be careful. So in my case, I have 152 bytes of buffer. So that means well, I, I can store 152 bytes information without a harm. And the 153rd byte would overwrite the return address. So let's generate a, a string file. And let's give this file 152 bytes of garbage value. So this is 8 bytes of garbage value. I will copy this and I would need 19 lines of this because 19 times 8 is 152. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And let's delete the last line. So yeah, this is 152 bytes of garbage value. This would Oh, this would completely fill the buffer. The ones I write after this, the ones I write right here, is what will overwrite the return address. And we have that information. Uh, that is uh, 40, 15, 7a. So yeah, uh, we would write it in here, but be careful. You don't write it as this. Now, if you're... so. Uh, if you're not familiar with familiar with um, little ending format, just Google it and come back. We would write it as this: 7a, uh, 15, and 40. So we write it in reverse and then fill the line with a bunch of garbage values. So let's save and quit, and we would feed this input string to our program C target, and we are provided with a um, utility program called hextero uh, in order to uh, convert this file into a, a proper format that the executable can read. So let's hextero ctarget.l1. This is the file that I wrote my answers to. So, uh, so yeah, if you do ls, you would see it here so um, so yeah this would read C target L1 via this uh, utility program and feed it to C targets and um, you don't need this dash Q flag I just need it for demonstration purposes so don't mind it don't write it and when we when I hit enter, it should compile. It should uh, run flawlessly. I mean, <laughs> we corrupted the program, but uh, in good faith, hopefully. <laughs> so yeah, we call touch one correctly. So what we did is we provided our function, the get buff function, which gets an input string from us. Uh, we provided it with one hundred fifty two bytes of garbage value that would fill up this buffer. And then the next, and then a bit more, a bit, an eight more bytes, and those eight bytes would overwrite this return address. Um, if we didn't overwrite it, it would it would run flawless. Like it it wouldn't return to this function. It would just return to whatever it was returning before. So we made it return to line nine because we inspected the code and found the address that corresponds to v level equals one not not line eight not line one line one line nine okay uh so yeah uh we successfully redirected our program to execute v level equals one and then validate so we get our score so if you want to know more about attack lab the upcoming parts just check my profile uh i'll see you there thanks